to my video. As you can see, I've cut my hair and I'm in a new bathroom. The thing is, I moved from my previous house to one about five miles away. So probably even more than that, but I have moved houses. I'm in a new bathroom. I'm sorry, everything looks green. I can't help that. It's these fluorescent lights right here. But uh, other than that, I'll give you a tour before I get into what the video is really about. But it, this is going to be a, a review and telling you why I cut my hair. And we're reviewing this Suave Aceto Mat. First, I'm going to give you a little tour as soon as I get this off. There we go. Yep. New bathroom. Yeah, this is an old house, so it's probably like a bathroom from the 70s. I'm not, I know I'm not giving the best view right now, but there's my lights, that's why it's green, because these are green, uh, I can't help that, but here's my new video, I'm just set up, new video style, I keep everything, all my pomades are packed away and put in a case, but I have access to them and I need to put them up somewhere, alright, there we go, anyway, um, today I'm going to be telling you why I cut my hair and the products we're going to be reviewing. So, getting into it, I've been really busy lately, that's why I haven't been uploading. I've been at work, and I recently got out of tech, uh, I finished my welding classes. I still need to get up with those people to figure out why they haven't sent me my certificate yet. But, other than that, I have finished tech. I'm I'm working, I'm trying to go to another job and then go go from there and get a welding job. So I got so much stuff I'm trying to do right now, stuff I'm trying to write, stuff I'm trying to do, so it's crazy. Now getting into why I cut my hair, when I'm working I don't really have time when my hair is down the bottom of my lip to keep fixing it and screwing with it all day, but at the same time I don't want to lose that 50 style, I don't want to lose that look. Of the grease. I'm still a greaser. That's never going to change. I'm still a greaser, redneck, country hick, whatever. Uh, that's, that's never going to change. But my hair had to because when I'm welding, I have to comb it straight. I have to slick it back and put on my cap and then put on my hood. And when I'm working as a dishwasher, it kept falling down on my face. I'm trying to wash dishes and I'm running soapy water through my hair to get it to fix. And it's not going to, I can't keep doing that. That's just going to slow down production of clean dishes. So what I had to do, I cut my hair. Now last time I cut my hair, I tried to go for the James Dean hairstyle, and that failed. That failed miserably. But I'm determined to make it work somehow. I'm gonna figure out how to make it work, figure out how to cut the hair right, and then make it work. Because I have to. I mean, I wanna keep the uh, pompadour look, but make sure it's simple and easy to maintain, so it's really hard to mess up. So I went back to James Dean hair again. See, that's why it says short. So what I ended up doing was um, I took my hair, I took a couple measurements from looking at a couple pictures from James Dean or whatever without a cause. I figured out his hair is probably like down to his eyebrow and in the front, in the front mind you it's really short and textured but as it gets back here this part which I need to grow out by the way, this part gets long, this part gets longer in the back and then these sides are trimmed short up, up in here. I'll, I can put a picture in the thumbnail of James Dean's hair, but you can see in a picture of Red Boy sitting there with a cigarette. You see it's all chopped short here, and everything else is grown out long here. Why? I don't know. I guess it's for maintainability, but I'm going to try to do my own twist on it, or try to get it exactly the best way I can. And I've recently been informed I can't be using my greases anymore because it clogs up the drain, and this drain system is different from the one at the house. We have city water now, so even though we, how weird is that? We live in a country, yet we have city water. So we can't keep washing grease down the drain or get clogged up and it'll take thousands of dollars to fix. We can't keep pouring Drano down the drain either, or Coca-Cola, believe me, I've heard all that stuff. We can't keep doing that, so my dad wants me to use stuff to easily wash it out. So I'm going back to water-based products. My first water-based product, which was this one, not this one in particular, but Suavecito. I mean, I loved it. It made my hair the perfect shape every time, and it stayed there. I was happy with it. It gave me a big, massive height. I mean, I wish I still had the pictures from when I was like 13, 14 years old, and I was like combing my palm, but it got in shape quick. 
I have uh, long, thick, blonde hair. Even my barber said that. I have inherited that from my mother while my father had jet black and wavy hair. But th my hair as it is now is like, it's, it's still as thick as it was when I had my pompadour when I first started this whole thing. So I, so I like using heavy products to get it to stay. So Suavecito was one thing I liked a lot because it would hold it in place and it would not get messed up. So enough uh, babble there, I'm going to get right into this video. Suavecito Matte. I've heard of this one. I liked, I want to go for a natural look like James Dean had. I heard rumors they used black and white. That's just a marketing scam to get people to buy black and white. No one knows what he used. No one even knows how long his hair is. But we can tell it's either a matte product or he didn't use any at all. So I got Suavecito Matte Pomade. Uh, water soluble. It is a green container. A uh, green highlighted container. Water soluble. This is the original hole. This is not the firm or fear may if you're that pomp dude, whatever. I was not going to talk about him. I'm going to talk about this. It's called firm. But this is the matte original hold. Now it now when you open it up and smell it, it has the same original cologne scent that the original Suavecito pomade had. And in here it's white. It's creamy white. Uh, it looks like about the color of frosting, the consistency is scooping it out, nothing to it. Though I wouldn't recommend scooping out like this, use your fingernail to scoop things out. You get it on your finger, put it in your hands. Now note, note something, it makes your hands white. Note this, it makes your hands completely white. There is a reason for this. It's really creamy, really pasty. It's not gel-like like their other products, which makes me love this a lot more because it's not gel, and if you hit it, it don't jiggle. So, yeah. This pomade is a lot better than the other one. It's not their gel-type water base. It's a nice paste. So, going through the hair, it's easy. Nothing to it. Not a problem. I'm going for that Rebel Without a Cause look, so, yeah, and my sides, I've recently had them cut by a barber. Well, since I screwed up my hair, I had him fix it, and I think he did. He fixed my sides, my back, and then this side, and then he fixed up front so it was even. So, I'm going to put, put, if you have short sides, put a lot of this stuff in your sides. I still slick my sides back. I know James Dean had his hair combed down on the sides. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna comb them back or they will frizz out. Now, I do have a comb. They did send me a comb, which is a really good one, by the way. But I'm gonna use this to style my hair. Now, for the pictures I've seen from James Dean's hair in Rebel, uh, camera messed up, sorry. From the pictures I've seen in Rebel, his hair appeared to have done something like this. It went up, it came forward a bit and it went back. It came forward a bit and it went back. And then the front, because it was chopped short, which I'm going to try to not do that. I mean, I, I already did, but when it grows out to the length that I need for James Dean's hair, I'm not going to do that. But because his was chopped short, he used he probably used something to tease this forward, so he created that illusion of long hair when he didn't have long hair. So what I usually do, I want to split the sides back, this little brush right here. Now keep in mind, once this stuff hardens up, it will keep your hair in place. And if you ever screw it up, take a little bit of water, some water in there, and uh, Wash it through your comb. Wash it through the comb, get it nice and wet, and then slick it back through your hair. You want to do this about a few times, it'll reactivate the pomade. You can't comb this out, it's not like a gel, but you can't comb it out. You just need to put water in it. So if you've been combing it all day and wonder why it's not working, it needs water. So yeah, sides and right here. See where the pump goes up here and swirls to the top? Right here, it looks, it looks almost exactly like the top of James Dean's hair from Rogue. Almost. 
like you remember seeing him when he was fighting with Buzz on there. You can see the top of his hair look like something similar to this. How it curled in and went like this. Right where it curls in right here, put your brush in and comb this back. I create a dividing line. Do the same over here. See where it stops doing this? Put your brush in and comb it back. And tease it forward. Alright, this does smell good, but the scent unfortunately goes away. Alright, so there you have it. Here is going to be my new, uh, more frequent hairstyle I'm going to be working on. And I'm going to let it grow one inch. One inch more than it is now, and it'll be perfect. Because I've done the measurements, so I think it'll be right. So, this is the hairstyle I'm going to be doing from now on until I get something where I don't have to be bending over a lot of my job I'm going to have to keep this hairstyle I hope you guys aren't upset but I had to do this <laughs> so I hope you guys like this this hairstyle I'm going to be doing from now on my take on the James Dean hair it will stay in place pretty much all day I'll stop talking and give you a look around here I highly recommend Suavecito Matte if you're going for similar hairstyles such as mine or regular hairstyle and you want your hair to look natural. I highly recommend this. I guarantee it will not be like their gel type. It's not going to be jiggly like a gel and it's not going to be like super rock solid and bulky. So I highly recommend Suavecito Matte. Check out the other stuff. They're getting a whole lot of new products on their line. It's been years since I've been on Suavecito website or bought anything from them. So when I went back to my original Palmade and saw what, what they've done, they got some new stuff. So check them out, SuavecitoPalmade.com. Uh, if you want a little cheaper price, go on eBay. If you go on eBay, you'll get a free comb, a sticker, and a Palmade. So just whatever you prefer. Thank you cats for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, keep it greasy, rockabilly, and keep it 50s.